Hi guys, Fallen Jill here. So, just another from the bench vlog. Um, technically, I'm not on a bench. Um, <laughs> I'm actually going out soon uh, to meet a friend for some drinks and stuff. So, I don't really have a lot of time to have. Don't really have enough time to go out and do things. So, I'm filming a quick vlog from my back garden, and I am actually sitting on a kind of nice seat here. So, um, yeah, and you can see in the background. I do have a nice bit of lawn there you can look at. <laughs> um, so yeah, it's still kind of from the bench vlog. Um, so yeah, just these vlogs are really just to talk about what's on my mind and just whatever comes to me and then what the main topic I end up discussing ends up the title in the video. So that's kind of how these work. Um, so... I'm kind of stuck on what to talk about today, to be honest. Um, well, first of all, what a lovely day it is. <laughs> it's really sunny, um, and we have had quite a few days of not very nice weather, you know, rain. Uh, it's been warm, but it's been rainy. So today is actually proper blue sky with only a few bits of clouds, and it's really warm, and I can probably just go out like this with my jacket on. So hopefully, <laughs> I might take my brolly just in case though. Um, yeah, I think I'm going to talk about anxiety today. Nobody minds, I know it's Saturday, we always have fun and chill, but it's life, people go through that and... But I'm going to try and make it, make a positive spin on it. Um, I'm going to talk about some things I do to manage a time of feeling worried, nervous, mixed emotions um, and it might help someone. It may I've been working on my anxiety, my triggers and feeling good about myself etc last couple of years or so, maybe more, especially in the last year or so. Um, and I'm at a point now where I feel more confident in myself, more like I want to go out and do things and I love seeing people and you know and seeing people and doing things actually keeps me motivated and good and stuff. Um, but because I've got an anxiety disorder, uh, um, you know, yes it's better but there are going to be times of triggers and things are going to make me panic or feel all tense and whatever so I'm just going to talk about what I do to kind of manage those things or to make myself feel slightly calmer even even to bring my anxiety from 10 to maybe 6 you know uh, in, in, every little helps as Tesco would say <laughs> um, so yeah like I tend to go for a walk usually is my first instinct when I'm feeling a bit wound up and uh, you know nicer the weather the better you know uh, especially kind of the evening at this time of the year you know because it's, it's still light and the sun's kind of going down and it's mild and it's quite nice to kind of wander around and the park's usually quieter as well so you can kind of gather your thoughts and you can you know just take a minute to think and there's not as many dogs barking and running around and things so although that does help actually actually I was out for a walk last night and there was this dog uh, that came up, was kind of playing fetch uh, with the owner and the dog saw me sitting there and sort of ran up to me with a ball and asked, I was like, could you throw it for me? And I thought, oh, so I wonder if the dog kind of senses these things, I don't know, I don't know. Um, but, uh, so I threw the ball and the owner's like, oh, thank you for that, thank you. And the dog was bringing it back to me instead of, her, <laughs> instead of the owner, so I was like, mm-hmm. <laughs> so, uh, so, that, so I'm kind of seeing a dog in a park can actually be quite good therapy for you as well. Um, that would be quite cute. Uh, but what I'm saying is, is that there's not many, there's not much stuff going on in the evening. So an evening stroll is nice and during the day when it's sunny like this is nice. If you go somewhere quieter, um, but you think it might be, you know, not as many people. Um, Another thing I do as well, which I, I have mentioned in another video before, so I'm not going to go through it majorly, but going away somewhere as well, um, when I feel like everything's all built up and then I'm just like, ah, 
so I go away myself somewhere that, that's quite unfamiliar but I still kind of know and, and I end up feeling as though I'm leaving everything behind when I'm travelling off and then when I come back I'm feeling more refreshed so that's you know you can see that video if you want just to see what I'm saying more about that um what else what else phoning a friend can really help um so just to kind of sometimes it's hard when you're anxious not necessarily when you're having a panic attack but when you're you know when you're feeling tense and sometimes you can't rationalize a situation and you can't really make sense whereas if you tell someone else it um, and they can, because they're not anxious <laughs> or worried and they can see an outside to your situation they can kind of help you go well, see it this way and then when you have a nice chat it's kind of light hearted with that person because it's usually a good friend um, that means you know at the end of that call you should feel a sense of you know calmness it might not be 100% but it might have gone from as I say 10 to maybe 6 and then you can do another strategy on top of that um, you can listen to music that would help bring out emotion either it depends on what you like to do but if you want to bring maybe emotions out uh, maybe sad songs but personally um, I if I feel down or worried or something I usually listen to my girl power playlist um, which is still songs like um, such as like Anastasia what day in your life or uh, Spotlight from Jennifer Hudson, I think she sang that one, Beyonce songs, um, you know, songs like that are really like, yes, come on, you're awesome, you know, and you can that can kind of help, um, or if you feel angry, sometimes very occasionally, I will stick on my disturbed <laughs> and go, ah, so that can kind of help as well, so it really depends what mood you're in, and music can, music just speaks to everybody, you know, it's a good, it's a good source, and, um, so, yep, music and some comedy in the telly, things like that. Um, usually, I'll watch a, a maybe a just a stupid nonsense slapstick movie, and um, or I'll, I'll maybe stick on something like Kimmy Schmidt, you know, Unbreakable Kimmy Schmidt or something like that. That's my current kind of comedy I put on just now. Um, or mock the week, or you know, some a stand up thing, or you know, something like that, just to take my mind off anything serious. Um, what kind of bigger things you can do if you really feel anxiety is coming is becoming a taking over your life um, a bit, then taking taking the route of going to your doctor and telling telling them about it. <clears throat> And when they can really decide whether you should go on to medication or maybe talk, or maybe go to a group therapy or, you, or go to a psychologist and they can help you put strategies in place and help you to understand yourself, understand situations you've been through in order to kind of resolve them. Uh, I actually had been, I've been to the, like psychologists and stuff and I can tell you the one thing that actually really helped me was going to this group therapy where there was other people in the same boat and we were all talking about similar things and the, every week had a different topic and a different kind of way of looking at things and by the end of those six weeks I really did feel inspired, you know, to use those strategies. But yeah, so group therapy was the best for me, for strategies. But with strategies, it's not that they'll give you the strategies. The strategies and it'll work. You have to work on them yourself. Um, it's like as they say, you can take a horse to water, but you can't make it drink. So it's up to you what you do with those strategies, and if you work with them or you just leave for them, or you know. But I have been working on them, and a a lot of the time it works. Sometimes, but as I say, there's still times I'm you know I'm human. It's going to happen, and it's part of me. So. Yeah, um, what else? Oh yeah, what I'm doing tonight. <laughs> Stuff like going out with your friends, go for a drink, chill out, talk it through and then have some fun after. Balance everything out. Uh, just to, yeah. <sighs> so, I hope this hasn't put a dampener on your Saturday. <laughs> um, just felt that I wanted to speak from the heart and that's what came to me. Um, Oh yeah, I'm really I'm wearing a really nice nail varnish. Let's end the video with something nicey. Eh?
So I changed from my pink, my pink nail varnish to this lovely blue sparkly one. It's from Kiko. So you can, I think they're really cheap just now in that shop. And what I've done is I've put a clear polish on the bottom and on top, and then obviously two coats of this, and it's just lovely. Like I don't, it's the sun is just making it even nicer, and obviously it's. Whenever I whenever I wear nail varnishes that are quite glittery with different colours through it, it makes me feel I'm like a mermaid for the day. <laughs> so um, yeah, it's quite nice. Yes, thank you very much for taking some time out of your day to watch my video today. Very much appreciated. I know how busy people get on a Saturday. Um, so I'm off uh, to meet my friend now and have some chill out time. And yeah, um, thanks very much for watching. Have a great weekend and I will catch you in a video on Monday. Bye!